Hi, and welcome back to another edition of Shy's 13 Random Facts. Please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and the notification buttons below this video. This way you can be kept informed every time I upload a new Random Facts video for you. And we do upload on a daily basis. Today we are going to discuss and learn 13 random facts about the differences between moths and butterflies. In fact, we may even learn some similarities between the two. So sit back, relax, and don't fly away. The following list of similarities will be just a bonus for you. So, similarities between the moth and the butterfly are Butterflies and moths use their sensory organs to detect the odor molecules or hormones released by the opposite sex. So these are things that they have in common. Males have special clasping organs to keep the females attached with it while copulation. Intrusion of some predator may make the couple fly together while having sex. Butterflies and moths are found in every part of the world except polar regions. No bug belonging to the order of the Lepidoptero can survive a freezing temperature. And both moth and butterfly have dusty scales on their wings. If you touch these delicate scales, you might dislodge them into a powdery form. The shedding of scales is quite natural in butterflies. If they are dusted off, they can easily be restored by the butterfly. They can fly even without these scales. So those were some similarities, but now let's move on to the real reason you're all here today, to find out what the differences are. And let's begin with number one. A moth has got hairy, feathery, or sometimes comb-like antenna with no clubs on its end while a butterfly antenna are long and thin looking shafts with clubs at the end. Number two, a moth wings come in two pairs. Hind wing and forewing, a frenulum wing coupling device is located right beside the wing. It helps in joining the forewings with hind wings while flying. It allows the moth to fly as any other bug with a single pair of wings. While some species of moths have a juggling load on their forewing that aids in coupling it with hind wing. While a butterfly has no such wings mechanism, they simply have a simple pair of wings to fly. So go ahead and share this video with your friends. Let them know what the differences are between moths and butterflies. Number three, the protective shield that a moth's pupa wraps around it during its pupal stage is called cocoon. A pupa produces the silk coverings from its silk gland, while a butterfly's pupa forms a chrysalis that is hard, rough, and without any silk element. Number four, Moth comes in obscure patterns and drab colors, mostly the shades of brown, black, and gray. Being nocturnal, moths need to survive in the daytime when they are resting for most of the hours. These dull and drab shades help them in camouflaging in different environments, while butterflies have brighter and vibrantly hued colors and clearer patterns on them. Hey, feel free to share your thoughts down below in the comment section. We could read some of your comments in a future video. Number five. Moths have small sized wings and fully developed forelegs attached to their hairier and furrier body, while butterflies have larger wings than moths and underdeveloped four legs. Number 
6. Moths have larger scales on their wings that make them look stout and fluffier. Butterflies have slender bodies with delicate scales on their wings. Maybe you know some facts that are not in this list and would like to share them with us. We would love to hear from you. Number seven. Moths spend their time waking up in cooler nights in the wild. To bear that cold, their feathery body provides them heat. While butterflies, being diurnal, face sun and excessive heat in beautiful insect land. That is why they have delicate wings that help them in absorbing solar radiation. Number eight. Moths have exceptional vision. Their compound eyes come with hexagonal lenses that help them in tracking all the activities in the late hours. Being nocturnal, their eyes do not catch the images like we do. Moths can see the ultraviolet rays around them, while butterflies too have compound eyes, but of a different type, opposition eyes. They have excellent vision and superior resolution, and they can distinguish between the bright colors like red, yellow, and green. That all sounds complicated, doesn't it? But I'm sure it's simple enough. If you haven't been there yet, you should check out our other channel, Shy's Daily Trivia. There is actually some trivia over there that is about this video right here. Number nine. Moths, being nocturnal, work, eat, and reproduce in the dark hours. Butterflies are diurnal and travel from flower to flower in broad daylight. Exceptions to the rule, there are some moths, buck moth and Urania lelis are all diurnal. And some butterflies, the northern pearly eye butterfly, are also nocturnal. And that's just to confuse you even more. Number 10, moths sit with their wings flat in a tent-like manner, hiding most of their abdominal area while butterflies always sit with their wings folded vertically on their backs. Remember to come back tomorrow for some more random facts. I do post daily. Bring your friends with you. The more the merrier. Number 11. A moss cocoon is usually found on or under the ground, while butterflies' chrysalises are suspended from some trees. So let me know in the comment section below if any of these comments surprise you. I'm curious. I'm always curious. Number 12. The smallest moth belong to the pygmy moth family. It has a wingspan of about 3 30 seconds of an inch. That is pretty tiny. Blues are the smallest butterflies of the world. They have a wingspan of about 1 quarter to 1 half inches. And again, that is still pretty tiny. So thank you for joining me today and I do hope it was educational for you. And everyone leaves today learning something new. Last but not least, number 13. Atlas moths are the biggest moths in size. They can have a wingspan of about 12 inches. Holy cow. Could you imagine seeing a moth that size flying at your face? The largest butterflies of the world are bird's wings. They have a wingspan of about 11 inches. Even seeing one of them flying at your face would be a little scary. Anyway, that's it for now. Those are the facts, so have yourself a great day, and I hope to see you soon. Come back tomorrow for some more facts. Bye for now.